Hey, welcome back. You know, close to 50 countries make up the Asian continent, which means incredible diversity when it comes to cuisine. This rich heritage is alive and well right here in the Pacific Northwest. Barcada is a Filipino Hawaiian restaurant located in Edmonds. If you haven't been, you're going to go after this. This first generation Filipino Americans say that they're keeping their culture alive through their delicious food. And chef and owner Brian Mariag is here to cook with me or make me cook as he's been telling me. We're going to teach her how to make seasick today. <laughs> seasick, <laughs> this is a pork dish. This is a pork dish. It is uh, uh, famous for being street food in the Philippines. It's in bars. Um, it's a real casual dish. It's meant to be eaten with beer and uh, oh, yes. and maybe some spirits. Okay. Uh, so it ties into the barcada thing because barcada means friends. I was going to ask you. Okay. Yeah. I love it. All right. So how do we get started? Let's. All right. So we're going to get started by just heating up this pan. Um, we have some. Uh, pre-braised uh, pork here okay. uh, and Filipinos um, we do a reverse braise so usually you would sear something and then slow braise it. Okay. Sear it's the, reverse yes. now because we're gonna slow uh, braise it in its braising liquid first and then we're gonna sear it. And then it we're in gonna the pan. sear it. Okay. Um, and we'll dry that pork out uh, overnight and let it kind of dry up so that we can oh. achieve ultimate crispiness. Ultimate? He looked at you all when he said that, so you know it's serious. All right, so let's see it. Is it hot enough yet? All right, so let's get this hot. We're putting it at eight. A uh, little canola oil just on the bottom there. Oh, I was like thinking that was going to be intense. Just a little bit. <laughs> and then um, can we put these on yet or no? Not yeah, yet. we can put okay. these on yet. So you're going right. to you're gonna do this. I'm going to walk you through it, okay? All right, can I, just, you know, I should just taste. Can I eat it? Yeah, sure. I'm going to eat Oh my gosh, that's so good. I mean, and we'll just kind of mix that around. Make sure it's like okay. flat surface to get that crispiness to get all on the all crispiness. of it. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. No I can't flip them in this pan. It's too heavy. No, but uh, I love cast iron pans because uh, they have a real even heat. Um, you know, you're not getting any hot spots anywhere, and yeah. you know, it's perfect. That pork is so good. They <laughs> cheated and ate. But isn't that what chefs do? I mean, not in a restaurant, but if you're cooking at home, you eat as you go. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's so why I knew when I. Do that. When I was going to be a chef, I knew I'd never go hungry, you know, because you're always tasting, you're I always checking it. your work. All right, so as I'm getting this nice and crispy, what, what do we do next? Uh, next, we're going to deglaze with our uh, seasick sauce. It is a secret, but I think we have a recipe somewhere. You're going to share it with us? <laughs> Absolutely. I say sharing is caring all the time. Sharing is caring because uh, we have to share uh, our recipes. We have to tell everybody what we're doing so we can pass it on to the next generation. I love it. All right, well, I'll, I'll pour it in now. I'm ready All right, for not it. the whole thing, maybe just a little bit. Okay, you tell me when. I think we're good there. Okay. Kind of uh, give it a little shake there. Shake. Like, I gotta pick it up now and shake it? Man, I'm getting there a real arm workout today. Uh, All right. And we're gonna put these onions in there right away. Oh, that smell is so delightful. Um, we're not gonna take it too much farther because we want uh, a little bit of texture on those onions. Okay. We don't want them totally translucent. Uh, oh, we that's want good them, to know because I would probably sit there and wait till they got translucent and that would be no bueno. Some sharpness there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so talk to me about barracotta. This is a Filipino and Hawaiian fusion of foods. Absolutely. Why did those two things come together? Well, that is very uh, authentically me. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother is Filipino and my father's Filipino. We are, they are immigrants from the Philippines. But when my mom settled into the U.S., she settled into uh, Hawaii first. Oh, so there's a I big see. influence there. I have a, I have a lot of uh, my mom's side of the family in Hawaii. Okay. And we go back and visit every, every year. We try to every year, you know, COVID. We couldn't really I know. do that. And that um, was really hard when Hawaii. So you kind of grew up with, with the flavors. Absolutely. And those, uh, those flavors in Hawaii with uh, um, being Filipino there and like uh, that mesh, and that's very Pacific yeah. Islander where you're having, uh, I think it's the original Asian fusion. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I, I think you're probably right. Okay, so how do we get this all? All right, let's finish this off. So uh, we're going to, we call these short curlies. They're, uh, some curly onions there. Short curlies. Um, okay, and that's my favorite thing. Some uh, cilantro there just Ooh, to finish cilantro. it off. Cilantro. Our director, Andy, loves and sells some cilantro. Not too much because we still want to reserve that freshness. And okay. I'm going to go right in here with Okay, that. right there. Oh, so you just pop that right in. This is, you know what this would be great for? When I get home from work and I don't have time for it. 
Yeah, you can absolutely. have everything prepared already, almost. Well, you got to prepare the uh, the pork ahead of time, right? But then you can just store it in your uh, in your fridge, ready to go, and then um, and actually, Cisig. Uh, just like anything Filipino adobo or anything, mm -hmm. you can uh, do seasick anything. If you have uh, chicken or stuff like that, we can do a seasick chicken. Okay. We can do a seasick. Uh, uh, there's a bungal seasick, which is a mm. milk fish. Oh, stop it. You could do finish. like maybe we could do a halibut. I don't Wait, know. Wait, why did you, you know? by the way, leave a little hole here? I'm leaving a little nest there because we're gonna put a egg in the middle. Traditionally, it's uh, it comes with an egg. Okay. Yeah. At Barcada, mm -hmm. we do a uh, 62 and a half degree egg. Wait, is it? So it's sort of cooked. It's sous vide. Oh, it's sous vide. It doesn't and so uh, we uh, sous vide our eggs there. Put that, drop that right in the middle there. Ooh, I bet I could. You could have done that better. That looks so fancy. There you go. And then we're gonna finish that dish off with a little more of these uh, short scallions, curlies. short curlies. Short curly. I know the right? words now. We do uh, um, a little bit of. Ooh, uh, that is beautiful. Chili flake, and then I have a little bit of our house spicy mayo. Oh my gosh. And you know you got to serve this with hella rice oh, because there's so, so much, much so much rice. going on in there. So much um, rice. You really need oh, uh, the rice to kind of cut that. Yeah, well, I mean we're I springtime. Love it. We're springtime, and I'd finish it like with a oh with a little lemon. Look at how pretty that is. And there look at go. all these other dishes that you brought to us. We didn't get a chance to talk about, but that's too bad. You're gonna have to go to Barcada to figure it out. And you are welcome because. Brian, he is sharing his recipe for pork seasig on our website, so you can make it at home, right? Thank you, Amity, yeah. Oh my gosh. Please check it out. Uh, I don't know where they're gonna post it, but where are we gonna post it? We're gonna post it on our website. Okay, on our website. New Day Northwest. By the way, I love that you said hello rice. I haven't heard that term in forever. <laughs> that means lots of rice. Hot damn, it's a new day. <laughs> oh my gosh.